every day is an adventure and you will never know until you go. Another adventurous video today, another beautiful challenge, so welcome. And uh, we have two beautiful hostess, Zaina and Marsha. We got a team, what would you make? So please, when you're done watching my video, on the description box will be their channel, as long with the playlist of all the creators. Uh, Zaina, her name channel is OK to Home. She's creating all these beautiful theme decorations and uh, halls, um, any kind of theme. And Marsha's Mush Stuff, she's making beautiful videos such as halls, creations, any kind of crafts you like. And all other ladies on the playlist. DIY number one. I'm using this Goodwill wood uh, clock mental piece that I was thinking what to do for a long time. And as I'm recording this video, I'm thinking I still don't know what to do. So I'm making some experiments. So I'm grabbing those wood pieces that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were on sale for $2.50. I have them for a long time. So what I'm doing now, I'm just putting them together just to see if I can fill out the whole inside of this wood piece as you can see and I'm lining them up just to see if I have enough of all of them just to fill it out the whole inside so now when they all look good to me I'm grabbing a wood glue and a gorilla glue hot glue and I'm gluing them one by one just like that When they're all glued, I got those wooden beads. You guys remember the one that I used from my previous videos that I created that tray. I'm going to put those wooden half beads on the corners of my stand. So I'm just lining them up. Just like so. Now on the other side, same process, wood glue and glue them together. Next I'm grabbing this hexagon frame that I have from Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue the wooden beads on this one as well because it's going to be used as a shelf on my stand. When all that is glue, I got this uh, wood looking scrap sheet and I'm going to put it inside and outside of the hexagon frame. So now when all that is done, I'm grabbing a wax and a um, baby wipe and I'm going to wax my wooden piece. Just doing slowly. See somewhere it's darker, somewhere lighter, but it's okay. It's a wood. I like I like when the wood is highlighted like that. When the wax is done, I'm adding these lights from Dollar Tree on the bottom of my frame. And now, with the glue and a Gorilla glue, and I'm putting it in the middle of my wood stand. And this is just a sneak peek 
you want to see at the end how it look just so you can see now we're going to the next project I'm using these two outdoor metal flowers from Dollar Tree I have removed the handles and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint them with the chalk ivory color I'm gonna give them a good two or three coats on them just like so Next, I got these beautiful oval wooden frames from Hobby Lobby. I got them for $1.99 over winter time. Now those wooden sticks from Dollar Tree. Cutting them a little bit on the sides. What I'm gonna do now, I'm go gonna try to make axes on the each side. I see that they were longer a little bit, so I'm cutting them more. And now I'm gluing them. One jingo block on the back of the flower and I'm gluing it together and next to the axis. Also, I added a Chanel stamps on both of the flowers so they can stay sturdy on the back. Now, I'm distressing with a dark brown mocha color, airbrushing it, applying on the flower and on the frames as well so we can get that rustic, shabby chic French farm look. I'm in dilemma, should I put these burlap flowers that I have or not? The boat looks look amazing, but I decided to leave those burlap flowers. I also give you a choice that you can put those beautiful all-time scrap papers on the back so you can have a different look, but I'm just gonna leave them plain and this is how they look. They look beautiful I'm impressed with them now we're going to number three I'm having this uh, oval wooden plaque from Dollar Tree and this beautiful transfer on sticker sheet and I'm gonna apply them on this wooden plaque I'm cutting those pieces and I'm just gonna put them on those wood so they can look like a old-time Le love letter have some french words in there looks amazing it's like the loved one was sending a letter at the old times i really like it so i'm applying it and i'm using that scrapper from uh, the cricket that i have so i can put those uh, letters on the wood easier We got a guest appearance from Benny. That's my daughter's creation friend. She named him Benny and she asked me if she can have a guest appearance on my video. <laughs> She's hilarious. I love her. Okay, so now when all that is done, I'm going to distress it. I'm going to make it like it's all like rustic with an airbrush. I'm going to apply it a little bit. And now I'm putting a mud patch. At the end, I'm adding a rope on the side of this wooden plaque so it can look more rustic. And now with a lighter, I'm making it more vintage looking. And here you go. I hope you like it. It's really rustic, love story telling plaque. 
that I really like. It says Mon Amour, which it means my love. And here you go. And we came to the end for the final reveal. I was really enjoying making all those wooden creations because I really love to work on wood and it was a pleasure being in this amazing challenge with all those amazing beautiful friends creators. Make sure you check out the playlist and I hope you guys enjoy my video. And I just decorated with some Dollar Tree uh, greeneries, some uh, Hobby Lobby greeneries. Don't forget to enter for the June giveaway on the, not the previous, but the other video for the month of June. I will put the link on my description box so you can see that video as well and enter. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm sending you a much of love, positive energy and lots of amazing music in your life and in your hearts. Until next time, bye-bye.